jewelry box come on please 925 925 a little silver heart pendant which one do we open first mm. ooh, ooh, ooh. times square quartz there's an ebay card it says 59.59 on there that's a nice leather pouch right there it's like a money bag ah there's beats mm -mm, what's this whoa that's actually pretty cool look at that they're pro racers 1993 got vintage toy there so wwf that actually looks like a vintage piece but i don't know for sure medieval ash it says 1993 on that too that is potentially some value here 1996 i think this got some potential i do oh look at this madonna Ooh. boy look at the mm. uh oh this is sealed right here guys and this is a picture disc picture disc 150 bucks last box has got some surprises in it already thomas kincaid thomas kincaid plushie All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? It's Monday. We left off on Friday. Weekend got away from me. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Because you know what? There's my trailer over there. It's just been sitting there waiting for me to drag it in here. It's my locker. This is train locker number two, aka train locker number two. And this is where we we're going through some of the Hawaii stuff, the move to Hawaii stuff. Now we're going through this locker. I don't even know what I'm going to call this locker. I guess I'm going to call it the Nintendo Switch locker because that was the big surprise. These we have to go through still. That's a half process box there you know that's a box that's throwing good stuff in we got these we got these that 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 all those been gone through okay this is all stuff it's sorted already but what do we got three four five six seven we got 11 boxes that's 11 chances to find something good and i do hope we find something good but we have already found out i found some pretty good stuff in here but let's get to digging okay the first box here says bath i think that's yeah bath hygiene i threw the ba box could use a little bath and hygiene it's very dirty actually pretty gross a lot of this stuff has been gross right you guys know it's been a few days for me but you just you, you just been watching it just like a few minutes ago right okay this is a nice sleeping bag that'll go straight to the market and i am going to the market in two days there's another little blanket there don't need to open that i don't need to open any of this really because that's what it looks like it all is that was that, all the yoga mat of some sort nice little fleece blanket there's a uh, inflatable mattress let's just make sure we found the pump somewhere else Yep, and that's what that is. Brand new, it looks like. And some other kind of sleeping bag here. That stuff will sell. This video is going to wrap up quick if they don't get better than that. That was a quick one. It's a little bit high. Let me see if I can push my table down here. You guys remember, I found this lift table. I guess that's as low as it goes. It's a little better. This uh, lift table is in the back of this unit here. And it's great for processing. Okay, did we go? No, we did not see this one yet. I'm a little worried that some of the boxes I may have grabbed that we already been through. Not this one. This is a shotgun cleaning kit or shotgun kit. Hmm, okay. Most of the parts are missing here. We got a little bit of gun cleaning stuff here. Nice. The box is actually kind of neat too. It's a little tin box. A little jewelry tray. A couple elephants. Made in China. It's just a resin piece. Alright, is that nicer? Oh, this is kind of funny. I have a whole bunch of yellow glass that I put aside that someone gave to me. Maybe I'll bring that to Deanza just because I already have a ton of yellow glass. She said that the yellow glass is more collectible or valuable. I don't know. There's some old Long's drugs. Oh my goodness, the coincidences here are crazy. Someone was just telling me a story today. He sent me an email. And thanks, by the way, if you're watching this and that was your email, I appreciate it. He was saying that... um the tie-in here, Long's Drugs, now CVS. An employee of Long's Drugs actually was developing film. Oh, look at this. It's a little scale. Huh. Little tiny scale. Made in India. Funny. Brass scale. Made in India. That's vintage. I'm going to put that aside. That's that's a little neater. Um, so anyways, the uh, uh, employee of Long's Drugs was developing film. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Screws and bolts or coins? That's the question right now. And, uh, ooh, nice little pump. Yep, that's working. I'm actually going to keep that in the locker here. I find bikes from time to time, and I need that. All right, so uh, in the photos for a customer, they see a arsenal of weapons. 
and um, the guy's look in his eyes, I guess, freaked out. The runner, she call, uh, the, the, the uh, employee, she calls the cops, they show up, they arrest the guy, and he was planning a Columbine type massacre at the community college, which is De Anza Flea Market, which is where we've been going. We've been going to De Anza Flea Market. So that was why he sent me the email because he wanted to see if I remember that story. I actually had forgotten about that story. So, uh, yeah, it was very interesting reading that and doing a little research on it and just, uh, I think it's from 2003, but I've just completely forgot that. So nice, uh, nice, you know, local history, not nice, but local history and uh, very interesting. So that's heparin, heparin lock, some sort of medication here, heparin, hmm. pencil, and I don't know what else, nothing too exciting in there. So yeah, funny, huh? Long's Drugs, I was just reading that this morning, this, uh, this story. I don't know about you guys, but coincidences definitely trip me out. I, pay, I try to pay a lot of attention to them. Oh, there's some hockey cards. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, I haven't found any sports cards in this locker, I don't think. Unless I forgot, but I don't think so. Tops 1993. All right, let's go. Hockey. Some coin rolls. No coins, unfortunately. Halogen bulb. Oh, boy, this is a... Now, there's an interesting hat. Wait, no, that's a bag. <laughs> I thought that was a hat. It is a bag. That's a bag. Inside's torn. There's nothing in there, but these buttons are kind of cool. There's there's uh, Bob Marley, some Disney, Beatles. Meh. Buttons are cool, but they're in pretty rough shape, so I'm just going to let that go. What is that? I don't know. Craft stuff. There's a belt buckle with a skull on it made in China. Hey, what's this? That could be silver. Let me get both hands free for that. Here's a little cutout from a license plate. They cut the California out. I've never seen that done before. That could be for the scale, bike chain. Uh, there's some jewelry. I don't, I don't really want to be touching that. Yeah, hey, I don't know where the jewelry, was. the piercing was. It's not an earring. There's something right there. I guess I'm touching it. All right, I don't know how to get it out of here without touching it. There's for the gun cleaning, I think. And a little Chuck E. Cheese car with the missing wheel. Okay, a few little jewelry pieces. Nothing real exciting here, guys. Um, let's get into these now. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping for money. It's hardware parts. Not a big surprise. Okay. Pins. Toe warmer. Huh. Hot hands. Odor absorbing. No. Oh. Got double benefits there, huh? It's a nice little knife there. Quasin art. Backpacks. Mm -mm. Another needle right here. Dang it. Again, it's just so irresponsible then to leave their needles like in so many places like that. That's interesting. <laughs> the pen. A little notebook. Glow in the dark spray paint. That's pretty cool. Huh. Jewelry box come on, please. I am not getting my hopes up with this locker. LED tea lights. There's the Raiders. Little hat. Oh, there's like a Batman tank top right here. Tres Bien. Right? That's Batman? I think so. Really well worn, but yeah, we'll take that to the better market, I guess. I guess, I guess. We'll give it a chance. We'll give it a chance. Okay, there's a little... Oh, that's actually a nice leash right there. Dog leash. Little dog bag attached to it. Doggy bag. Not the kind of doggy bag you want to bring out of a restaurant. <laughs> there's one way to open a sealed card with gloves. Just tear the bad boy open. And just hope that there's no money. No, just kidding. We hope there's money. I just don't want to tear the money. Locker nuts, you're such a brute. You're such a brute. A barute. A candle snuffer. Oh man, that hat is thrashed. Jessica's Custom Speed Shop. That's from Roger Rabbit. Beans. Just thrashed though. Look at that pen. A mighty marker. What's this? Oh, chest pieces. Okay. Mirror. Fuses. Oh, someone's diploma, high school diploma. Forever Paris Fine Fragrance Body Mist. Let's try it. Why not? It's not bad. Mm, it's a little strong for my taste, but it's not bad. Oh, okay. 
Harlequin. Oh, neat. Look at this. Wait, what is this? It looks like a belt, but it's a seat belt. What is the point of that? I don't know. That's kind of neat, though. I'll put that aside. Why not? Empty. Empty. Ooh, what's... Oh, this is not empty. Okay, I'm going to get my gloves off. We'll go through that. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. we got some stuff to go through here. Let's chiggity check it out. Okay, what do we got here? Hang on, I was I, I know something was in there, but I didn't expect it to potentially be something good. 925. 925, a little silver uh necklace heart pendant. I wonder if that's an amethyst right there. That well, that appears to be an opal right there, but I'm not sure if it's a real one. I don't know. We'll do our gem tester to the amethyst. That's actually a pretty decent little find right here, guys. There's a there's a good piece of jewelry. As of when I'm making this video, I haven't checked all that jewelry found in the jewelry box, like when we first opened the open the locker but uh you'll probably have seen it by now what we found Any, if, if anything good i don't know sharpies what's that john f kennedy a little charm thing nothing much nothing much i don't think there's anything in here it's another batman piece though oh that's corroded shut mm -mm. all right it's empty okay guys we got these which one do we open first any mini mini mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go any mini mini mo my mom no we're not doing that let's just go mm. ooh 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 okay well mother of pearl inlay in this and i think that's a 925 wait a second hmm that's definitely 925 that says 925 on it i was hoping maybe even white gold but that's a 925 ring very small with some mother of pearl inlay that's what it looks like that's a good that's good, guys, because we found that already. There's potential here, and there's something underneath that, too. That looks like it's silver. Little tiny, another t little, little tiny rings. Ooh. Okay. That's nothing. Okay. Gift certificate. Orbit Skate Shop. Hmm. Oh, $2.80 left. <laughs> okay, what's below? Hmm. Doesn't look as good as what was on top. It's another chess piece. Hmm. Hmm. Key ring. Friday the 13th. That's actually kind of neat. Batman. These buttons are in rough shape though. Jawas. You are the burger to my fries. That's funny. More chess pieces. I don't know what that is. Okay. I don't know what that is. That's a necklace. Hmm, it's broken, but it's weird because it's got felt on that side. Let me put it aside. It's a cheap bracelet. Mm, it's nothing, it's just a little ring. What's this? That's kind of neat. A little pewter. It's for doctors, right? It's like a bunch of doctors, medical stuff there. There's x rays, stethoscope. Yeah, that's kind of neat. And what's this? It's got a snake. I don't see any markings. Yeah, maybe there's a mark in there. I don't know. Is that a wrist thing? It's awfully big. I don't know. I'll put it aside. It's a little different. Yeah, that's it for that box. Let's open the other one. Okay. Come on. Come on. Keep hope alive. That's not it. Those are kind of neat. Made in Taiwan. Maybe not. thought maybe they're higher quality, but no, they are cheap. Yeah, there's a little... What's that called? Puka shell? Necklace. All right. There's an alligator necklace. I don't see anything precious in here. But it's all twisted up. Twist it up. There's a little brass shell casing in here. Mushroom patch, that's kind of neat. Whew. Another miscellaneous uh, earring there. Hmm. Okay. Times Square quartz. Watch face, I don't know. A little tiny car. Eh, that's not good, guys. A couple earrings. Oh, they're snakes, boy. They like dark stuff, these guys. Just, just costume jewelry, though. Nothing special here. Next box. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Feels empty. It could have been jewelry. It could have been. Could have been. <laughs> Maybe I should just take everything out and put it back. That's yeah, easiest. We got this whole table. Sarah's goodies. A little glow in the dark stuff for the wall. Alright. Donuts. Beanie cap. What's this? Oh, little hair bows. 
I found a box of those before. This isn't the same box, is it? Hope not. <laughs> Hope not. Nah, I don't recognize this stuff. Look at that. That's a rubber band ball. Super, like, getting crispy and old. What's that? A little bracelet. Nosotros Veseramos. I'm not sure what that means, but it's a neat button. What is that? That's a candle. Oh, let's get it. Wait a second. There's some interesting stuff in here. Let me get this out. I'm gonna have to do this right. Okay, it matches. I, I just have to look in the matches because you just never know. You know? You never know. It could have some jewelry in there. There's an eBay card. It says $59.59 on there. $57.59. The back's been scratched off. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try that. I, I'll definitely use that if it's a valid gift card. Okay, and then I saw this little keychain with the uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. <laughs> okay, that's it. Empty. iPhone case, I mean an iPad case, but no iPad. Boo and then a, uh, a little coloring book. Okay, got some more coloring books here. These are kind of expensive too, I think. One's partially done. El Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. Okay. Usually I'll save these uh, coloring books and put in our live auction, but these are partially done and the condition of this, especially Day of the Dead ones, I think that's cool. The condition of everything is just not so good. Candles, I'll, I'll bring those to the market. All right, there's another box down. And another bin up. Another bin up, another bin up, another bin up. Another bin up, another bin up, another bin up. Oh, it's got some jewelry in here. What is going on here? What is this stuff? Um, there's a bunch of buttons like sewn together. I don't know what is going on here though. Yikes. A lot of beads and buttons and... I think it's for making jewelry. I think that's what this was intended for. We might put that in a craft lot. There's looks like there's some decent stuff in there. Mod Podge, more craft stuff. Some fancy little, oh, it's called embroidery floss. I was gonna say it's fancy thread. It's called floss. Mod Podge, sealed. A very old ruler right there. It's kinda neat. Hmm, so we played some bingo. We just played that the other night. Another sealed Mod Podge. Glitter, ugh. Oh, I don't know if I wanna even mess with that. What if it spills? Prescription bottle with half a pill in there. That, one, that looks a little shady. <laughs> got some paint in here, spray paint. That's good. Okay. Oop, there's a penny. Let's get that one out. That's a nice leather pouch right there. It's like a money bag. Yeah, it's a little dirty though. Like most of their stuff, it's just filthy. Ah, oh, there's beets. Dang it. I think it's just the case though. Yep, read by Mark Echo. Okay. Istanbul, a little pouch for something. All right, here. there's a lot of paint in here. This paint really does sell at the market. Oh, that was busted. Mm, what's this? Nothing. It was ster sterling silver, whatever it was. God, this is cool. This is full too. That one. The other one was empty. That one's full. This one's glitter paint. Uh, glitter glue, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just roll this to the flea market. Uh oh, what's this? Look at this. Stickers. Yeah, this is cool. All brand new stickers right here. Okay, we do lot up stickers in our live auctions. One of the things that we do uh, sell pretty regularly whenever we find craft stuff, we pull the stickers out, lot those up. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> glue sticks. It's kind of a nice little box. A lot of chalk. A lot of sticker pack there. Go green. Okay, guys, I think that's it for that box. Okay, guys, this is Dad's Carpet Tools, and this one is heavy, so we're going to do it right here. Yep, and that's what it is. It's like not just carpet tools. I mean, we have a, something with rechargeable battery on there. But this stuff, yeah, it's carpet tools. This is really good. 
That's really, really good. We find carpet tools from time to time. We did just recently bring them out to that market and they sell very well. Good, good, good. Uh, there's probably at least 30 or 40 bucks right there. That's what I would say. Did we see this one? I don't think so. That looks, I don't think I've seen this one. Mm, look, it's all tearing right there. Too bad. It's kind of a neat piece. Definitely some leather action going there, but bad condition. Let's see if there's anything good here. Sag Harbor. Gee, I think this is Guess. Yeah, it's Guess. This one's, this one wasn't cleaned out properly. Let's see if anything good's in here. There's a dime. All right. We'll take that. Okay, here's a BART ticket with $2.50 on it. It's, it's like money, right? There's no button. What's this? Nothing. All right. Rosetti. Exclusive for Bueno. <laughs> Me and Jonah. Oh, what's this? Oh, thrift down. I was going to say, it's still got the tags. No, it's got the thrift store tags. Okay. I don't know, guys. Okay, this is nicer. What is this? I can tell just by picking it up. It's a little bit nicer. Michael Kors. Okay. This is not the one we found, right? This is not the same one, is it? I hope we didn't already go through all this, but... It's another used Michael Kors right here. And definitely, Michael Kors just, man. I said this before. It uh, holds up. It holds up. You can tell why it's such good quality stuff. All right, next box. Bin, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Look at that all came out as one. That's all that's in there. Is this backpack stuff with bags? Stinky. Stinky bags. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. Kiss. Army. New hat. And stinky, though. That is kind of neat, though. I'll take it to Danzo. Yeah. Danzo. Made in China. Transport duffel bag. Okay, just a couple bags. I think we're gonna use that whole bin just for that. Down the two more bins, guys. Breakable glasses. Yep. No, that's not that either. Some plush. There's a unicorn. Oh, there's Sonic the Hedgehog right here. That's neat, and it's got tags on it too. Sonic. Wow, and it's actually clean. Well, okay, that might be decent. Oh, that's interesting right here. Let's put that aside. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is that worth something? Oh, it's a Build-A-Bear workshop. I don't think that's collectible. I don't think so. Oh, okay, this is good though. Look at this. Hookups. Got some little, oh, it's a tech deck. Skateboard. They are pro racers. Uh, that's brand new on the card. 1993, got vintage toy there. Good. Hot Wheels. Tusk Gasser. Hmm. Okay. Sneeze it. Oh my goodness, that's funny. The wacky packages and they made bags out of it? No, it's a, uh, that's a plush. It's like a little pillow. Wacky packages. There might be some value on that too. Finding a little bit better stuff here. I mean, as far as plush goes. Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, that's funny. Mwah. That was my grandfather's favorite cartoon right there. It's pretty funny. He just cracked him up because he's French. This is Super Mario Brothers right here. Was that Yu-Gi-Oh or no? Yugi? I forgot the guy's name. Yoshi. 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 Another tagged plush. Huh. He's got a little chocolate bar. What? This, there's no tags on it, or they cut the tag off. Does seem like there's something a little better right here. Here. Here we go. Brand more more brand new toys. It's a radio flyer, little cart, wagon, brand new on card. And another old Pro Racers car, Matchbox. That's good stuff. We'll put that stuff in our live auction for sure. And the rest, nothing special, I don't think. That's a snake. <laughs> Jellyfish. That's actually funny. Okay, this bag here. I think that is that a piggy bank? I'm not sure what that was originally. But... So WWF Undertaker, like Beanie Baby type thing. Huh? <laughs> Did that to me before. Sock monkey. These are in rougher shape right here. 
I was kind of interested in this, but mm, I'm losing my interest very quick. There's a Star Wars Sum Sum. Stained right there? I think it's stained. Dang. Okay. Just poke around, poke around. Disney right here, but it's made in China. Which to me, it means it's not going to be that old. I don't know, guys. I don't really see anything here that makes me too crazy excited. Another D Disney made in China. I think there's Happy Meal toys. They're just all dirty. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to let that go. Maybe that guy will take to the market. I don't know. The rest is going to stock you. Okay, last box. Collectibles and room decor sounds potential. Sounds potential. Oh, that's uh, that's definitely potential. I did not plan this, guys. <laughs> I did not plan this. And I'm seeing really good stuff already. Okay, first up, enter if you dare. That actually looks like a vintage piece, but I don't know for sure. Looks like something I may have had when I was a kid. There's another Hot Wheels, brand new. It's the Queen Checkmate series. Mm, let's see what's in there. Ah, oh, but this right here. I don't know if this is valuable. Army of Darkness. That's the Evil Dead. Super dirty. Super dirty. Medieval Ash, it says. Um, 1993 on that, too. That is potentially some value here. Evil Dead, I think, is very collectible. I could be wrong. Alright, Darth Vader Collector Series. Okay, box is smashed. Um, hmm. 1996 been retaped right here i think this got some potential i do i think this has some more potential right here but i don't know okay all right i don't know kind of game there with words another hot wheels try me it says star wars oh try me because it rolls inside the package wow okay all right little bag there oh look at this madonna three oh oh Boy, look at the mm, condition on the plastic. It's terrible, but actually they're all pretty terrible. I do want to see the condition on the record, though. I can clean the plastic, and luckily it's got the plastic. But uh, this could be some money right here. It looks kind of decent. It's, a, it's very dusty. That's easy to clean, obviously. I do not see any scratches. Might be a little hard to see through the dust. Uh-oh. This is sealed right here, guys. That's the sealed brand new album right here. Never been opened. And this is a picture disc. So it's got Madonna on the disc and these, this is potentially good. I, I mentioned earlier in this dig uh, that we just sold a Linda Carter picture disc, 150 bucks. I think Linda Carter is going to be more rare than Madonna, but look at this, this is some sort of an import right here. Maybe a Japanese import or something. These are very interesting. This is a good way to wrap up this video, guys. Last box has got some surprises in it already. All right, this is a high school uh, yearbook there. Uh, Anthony, that's Anthony Curtis, right? Red Hot Chili Pepper, yeah, Anthony, uh, Kurt, what did I say, Curtis, Ketis, scar tissue. Hmm. A frank, unsparing, meticulous count on a life lived entirely on impulse for pleasure and for kicks. Interesting. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hmm. A plush, that's dirty. So much debris in here. Shampoo. And no, I don't have my gloves on at the moment. <laughs> so, there's Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, there must be a CD in here somewhere. For a secret bag, another bag. Oh, there's Kenny. <laughs> South Park. Nice. There's a beanie baby. What's this? Britannia. Nope, it's named Jack. Okay. Hmm. Some toys in there. Okay. Some toys in here too. Okay, let's hold off on second on that. Oh, here's another sealed toy right here. New Moon. Ah, oh, they wrote 20 bucks on the plastic. That's unfortunate. Jasper. Maybe Jasper is a little more rare. I don't even remember who that is. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's a nice bear. Thomas Kincaid. Thomas Kincaid plushie. There's a rose. Metal rose. Okay, this is uh, from Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Isn't this Jack's dog? Authentic, original. Condition's not great. Um, pretty cool, though. This is because the tags aren't right here. All kind of messed up. 17 bucks new. All right, we'll put him aside. Some brand new Pez. Another Hot Wheels or something? Yep, Hot Wheels. The card's been cut out, unfortunately, but still brand new. Mint piece. Little plastic toys. And here's the Dr. Seuss plushie. Again, the tag here is kind of worn. It's only $5, but is it from Kohl's? Hmm. There's Elmo. Sesame Street. That's a nice quality one right there. 1997 Teddy. There's another Beanie Baby. 
sanding sandpaper. <laughs> it's a little random. Monster High. What do we got in here? Feels like it's got stuff in there. There we go. Okay, not too much. Not too much. And this looks like a build a bear Unipack. Nope. I'm not sure what that is. Unipack designs. Alright, we'll put them aside. We'll put the good ones aside. We'll take a closer look. If they're good enough, we'll lot them in our live auction. If they're not good enough, they'll eventually just go to the flea market. But I'm going to take a few minutes to sort them out. All right, let's see what we got here. We're down to the end here, guys. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Unless you didn't watch and you just skipped to the end, then I retract that. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. That's what I mean to say. Thank you for being here. A couple little figurines. Oh, that's funny. Huh. Oh, look, his eyeballs actually pop out. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, that's like the little plushy guy. It's for decoration only? Really? Another one. And a little keychain with a Funko Pop. Very dirty. Oh, there's a little minion. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Nope, not it. <laughs> not it. One more bag of toys. Okay, what do we got? What is that? I don't know what or who these are. Is that Monster High? I don't think so. Mattel 2008. The stand is anyways. What are those? I don't know. Maybe it is Monster High. There's a Monster High thing right here. Okay, that definitely looks like Monster High. There's the mummy, and then I don't know what that is. But So this is some Monster High stuff. But missing his arm right there. Is that Monster High? I don't think so. Is it an attack chicken? Oh! Look out, he's gonna get you! Alright, Monster High stuff. Does this got any value? If it does... Probably pull that back up. Alright, I don't know. I don't know. We'll take that to the better market. That right there. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video, or a couple videos for this locker, I should say. We're done. Finito. Finish. All of it. I think. I think all of it. If there's anything else, well, I'll just work it into the video somewhere. But this is the conclusion to it. The saga. And we are going to be moving on to the next locker. I don't even know what that is. Well, at some point, we got to get to this. This mountain. This wall. Veritable wall of trains. Hopefully. I know there's some trains in there. I know there's planes. I think there's some action figures. I think we saw cars. We did peek in a few of these, not very many. So it really is a mystery and I've been saving it. <laughs> I've been saving it. But anyways, I, 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 I look forward to it. But I've been buying. I like variety. I like mystery. And we've been getting that. And this locker had its share of it, starting from the first surprise, which is the Nintendo Switch, to the last surprise, which was maybe those Madonna records. I think there's some value there. Um, this is a good one. It wasn't much money. 180 bucks plus fees. Uh, which is 15%, so a little over 200 bucks, and I didn't have to drive far. So what can I say? I'll be, I would buy one of those every week if I could. It's just uh, lockers have been getting very expensive, and I've been having my share of garbage lately. So, But this one, even though it was dirty and gross, and it did have some drugs, and yeah, I, maybe I want to forget about that part, um, it had some good stuff. And we're going to make money, starting with the flea market on Wednesday. We're going to blow it out. We'll see our money back. We'll be in the profit. And then uh, some of the boxes back here we put aside for the better flea market more profit and then of course once this video airs we'll roll some of the best stuff into our live auctions that's where we make the, the you know the real money that's how we provide for our family here in the bay area all right you guys well thank you so much for watching the video i do appreciate it please comment let me know what you think about this locker and maybe what your most uh exciting part was the the part you liked or the item that you liked whatever you want to share we really appreciate those comments even when we don't respond to them all we do read them all right so thank you so much and until um, next time, <laughs> good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking Nuts. See you guys. All right, guys, here we go. Here it is. Here's our unit. Unit, 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 unit. Our unit, unit. All right, well, here's the big reveal. Hmm, there's barely anything in here. I forgot.